So what you want to do is you want to start up the computer and then you want to tap the F9 button. That's F as in Frank 9. And so we'll go ahead and turn it on. And you got to make sure you have it plugged in. Like I said, it will take about 30 minutes to do. And you hold down the F9 and you could tap it as well. And this might actually take you a couple of times to do. If it immediately goes back into Windows, you're going to turn it off and do it again. All right, so as you can see there, it's going to load. You, this is a Windows 7 computer laptop, an L402. And then I'll show you Windows 10 and, and Windows 8 here in a second. It'll load up. For whatever whatever reason, it won't be able to do this, and you keep getting an error message, and it keeps going back into Windows. That might mean that your hard drive is going bad, and let's say your computer is really really slow. Um, that might be one of the reasons why you want to do a full factory. And in that case, you would need to replace the hard drive, install a manual uh, Windows disk to it. All right, so we'll click next. This is for seven next and then what I want to do is I want to click recovery windows to entire hard drive um, hit enter next this will help you restore the pre-installation applications to the original factory state if you can access your hard drive hard disk drive back up all your important files before performing this process so you can do that with like a DVD or a USB go back into windows and just go through the full factory uh, and or rather back up all your stuff next and then finish and like I said this will take about 30 minutes now if you're going to do Windows 8 Windows 10 it's going to take you to a screen where it'll say choose an option troubleshoot and then you want to you want to choose the second one down troubleshoot and I'll show you right here okay for Windows 10 and Windows 8 you want to choose choose an option you want to choose troubleshoot and then under troubleshoot you're going to select reset your PC which is the second one and not the first one and then when you hit reset your PC you want to choose the second one which is all drives which makes it a lot more cleaner of a re uh, reinstall and then after all drives you want to select the first option that says just remove my files if you choose the second one it's a little bit lengthy alright thanks for watching